Welcome back, Dr. Laval. Nice to have you here again. Great being here. Um, when we talked earlier, you mentioned uh, something about your clinic. Right. Could you tell us how you went from being a pharmacist with some concerns and taking a lot of education and then started the clinic, what it does and where it's going? Well, you know, it was interesting how it really started. I was uh, working as a Kroger pharmacist. You know, and Kroger's a big corporation Absolutely. working in the, in the pharmacy. And I had this idea. I had a diabetic woman come up to me and she had a medication that was late at night. I was always put in rough neighborhoods because I was kind of a big guy. I worked out a lot. <laughs> And uh, I saw her come back to me with a grocery cart full of foods that were you know, really bad for her diabetes. And diabetes runs rampant in my family, so I'm very familiar with it. And I looked over the counter and I said to her, do you mind if I take you around the store for just a minute? Because nobody was there. I mean, at, at night, nobody came in my sure. store. <laughs> so sure. she was one of only two customers. And I, I showed her around the store and I felt pretty good about that. You know, they're fine. It's more than giving her her medication. I, mean, I felt pretty good about giving her some guidance on, you know, this is a healthier way to go. Well, I got an idea. So I walked into the president of Kroger's nationally and I said, why don't we tag all the foods in Kroger's for heart healthy and diabetes friendly foods? Really? What year was that? That was back in 1985, 86, I think. Way actually. ahead of the curve. Uh, the it was curve. a little bit ahead of the curve, right? Yeah. Well, the president of Kroger said to me, why don't you go back to practicing pharmacy, son? <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and, but luckily, my pharmacy coordinator, he believed in me. And he said, we're going to do this. And so we ended up doing events where we would screen people's cholesterol. We would do their blood glucose. We would teach diabetics how to use their glucose monitors. We had the Jewish Hospital of Cincinnati that I wrote a, a shopping guide with, with the dietitians there and the head of the Jewish Hospital Cholesterol Center. Hundreds of people flocked into the Kroger stores, and everywhere there was a tag for food that said heart healthy or diabetic friendly, coming off the shelf. And it, it, what it happened is, is that was the birth of tagging foods for heart health, low sodium, diabetic friendly. And that, that kind of gave me my impetus to really get into helping people with proactive health, because what happened when it got successful, they said, you know, you did a great job. It's time for you to go back to the pharmacy. Back to the pharmacy. <laughs> and so, and so uh, that's when I left the job and decided I really needed to help people on, on a more regular basis, becoming more proactive and helping them to make intelligent decisions. Gee, that's great. And so basically from that, from that standpoint, um, you went out and began to create what's going on now. Uh, yeah, as early as the mid-80s, mid I started doing that. And I went into cl a clinic, so I worked in a small clinic. Did that for several years, worked with different chiropractors and medical doctors, you know, doing assessments on people for their biochemistry, looking at their drug-induced nutrient depletions or drug interactions, what's the right things to give them for their condition specific to their needs. Uh, and then that all kind of snowballed over the years, did a lot of lecturing all over the world. And uh, one day when I was retired, I had just finished writing my second database and I think 13th book. Um, had a, do a doctor call me from Good Samaritan Hospital and said, you know, we heard you never hurt anyone. We'd like you to come into our integrative medicine center and see if you could straighten it out for us. And so I ended up at Good Samaritan Hospital and I worked on their integrative medicine program and got it turned around. And from there, that's where I landed today. You know, I've got an institute now that has uh, physical therapy, fitness center. I have my medical docs there that, you know, really are the directors of medicine there. I have dietitians there that are really prone towards proactive health, nurses, acupuncture, massage therapy. We even have MRIs and CAT scans that are in the building, you know, affiliated with us so that we can do research on Very dietary supplements. Well, what I'd like to do is ask you if you'll come back and visit with us so we can talk about some of your books. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks Love very it. much.